Okay, so we got a trophy list video for you today, and today's list is Juice X, and I hope that I'm saying that correctly. I've not done one of these for a few weeks, so it may be a little bit rusty, because I've been resting by doctor's orders, giving the old throat a bit of TLC, and well-needed rest. And if any trophy list is going to give it a, a real test to see if it's better, it's going to be this one, because it's 253 Platinums, 283 games played, 283 games completed the first time i've ever seen a trophy list with a flat 100 percent completion so let's get straight into it and the top one obviously we're already alphabetical the top one three on three freestyle i'm going to take a, a guess it's basketball potentially football but 0.67 percent seven out of ten difficulty 200 hours you have kind of auto popped it on the NA account, but the EU one looks legit. Holy cow. We then move on to seven days to die. Obviously, it's a, like a survival game as far as I'm aware. I think I actually think I own this on Steam, but I've never played it. But this one, 0.92%, 50 hours, 5 out of 10 difficulty. We've then got Adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. That's the actual title. 0.93% uh, on the PS3. Like, top straight away. Boom, boom, boom. Absolutely awesome. We then move down to Air, Memories of Old. Seven, that one's quite a high percentage. Quite a quick game as well from the looks of it. We then got Alice Madness Returns, an absolute banger of a game. Although the, the percentage is quite high considering that it's a, a PS3 title. But fair play on that one. We've then got Amnesia Collection, PS4, 3.68%, and the DLC of 0.92%. Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood, Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Black Flag, Revelations, Syndicate, and Unity. I mean, everyone knows Assassin's Creed's. Like, I once upon a time loved Assassin's Creed. I've just... More, more the more recent titles i've just fell out of love with them i just can't bring myself to play them anymore but you have and you've platinum them all 3.46 on brotherhood 4.75 on uh, assassin's creed 3 5.38 on battle uh, black flag like these are some low percentages and of course they all take roughly 55 50 hours uh assassin's creed 2 was the uh only the 20 hours for that but the other ones are absolutely fantastic. We then got Back to the Future, the game. I believe this is the Telltale one. It's uh, quite a high percentage, but it's one that you don't see too often. Uh, it doesn't help with the fact that it's been delisted, so you can only get it uh, uh, physically, from what I believe. We then got Bastion, fantastic game. Not many people have this on their list these days. I actually almost brought this uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, The Enemy Within, and the Telltale series. Uh, Arkham Asylum, just because it's an 8.48%, I'll shout that one out. And it was done on the PS3, so fair play on that one. Oh, we've then got Bayonetta on the PS3, 8.76%. It's a 6 out of 10, 40 hours. Beyond Two Souls, 6.23%. Very nice. We've then got Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. My guy, fair effing play, 7.95% and 1.71% DLC. 5.02% and 0.91% DLC. And then infinite, 6.14% and 0.85% DLC. I believe Bioshock Infinite, that's the blue ribbons, the DLC. That When I looked into that, that looked absolutely horrendous. So, again... Fair effing play. Uh, we then got Blood Drive on the PS3, 1.26%. Just by the title, I'm going to take a, a pop in the dark and say that it's a, a car racing game where maybe Destruction Derby style. Um, you then got Borderlands twice, uh, PS3 edition and the PS4 edition. Borderlands 2 on the PS3 or potentially the Vita. I'm hoping you played it on the PS3 because the Vita edition was dog water. It was awful. But that's a 5.81 and a 1.91% DLC for it at 10, 60 hours. 
Just taking a deep breath because there's going to be a lot. We've then got Bound, which, I mean, it took you an hour and 37 minutes and it's a 0.69%. Apparently it's supposed to take 40 hours. Okay, you're going to have to let me know about this one. What? Why does the guide say 40 and you've managed to get it in 1 hour 37? And the next one, actually. 15 hours on the guide, but 2 hours 53 minutes. I'm stumped. We've then got Bullet Storm Full Clip Edition. I mean, I remember playing this way back when it first came out. And I absolutely loved it. I believe it was the creators of Gears of War, if, I, if I'm remembering right. And, like, you know, being able to kick them, it goes slow motion, and you could, like, shoot them into spikes on the wall. It was just fantastic. Fantastic experience. Uh, that's a 1.9%, so very nice on that one as well. We then got Bully. Great game. Black Ops 3. 0.78% and the DLC with a 0.21% and 8 out of 10. We are not worthy. Then we got Infinite War, 1.14%, 0.3% DLC and World War 2, a 1.41%, 0.24% DLC. My god, these are disgusting. Catherine next. 1.29% and 9 out of 10 difficulty and 60 hours. Should like shall I just stop now? I have just I've just gone through so many trophies, uh, so many games where you've smashed the platinum out and the DLC and I don't think with the exception of a couple, I don't think I'll ever get any of these. Uh we then got Chaos of Deponia not the hardest of games, but one that you don't see too often. City Skylines, very nice. 1.99% on that one. 0.11% on the DLC. Now, is that because not many people played the DLC, or is it just because the, the DLC is that difficult? Either way, you got it. Fair play. It took you a year and two days as well, but that's, that's just dedication. That's all I'm saying. We've then got Crisis. Nice. And Crisis 3, Crisis 3 is a 2.36% and a 0.66% DLC. Uh, then got Dante's Inferno. The Platinum isn't anything too special, but the DLC is 1.05% on that, so nice. We then got Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 again, um, Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls Remastered. And you've smashed all of those out. So we are dealing with an actual gamer right here. We've then got Day of the Tentacle. Which I have absolutely no idea about. We've then got two stacks of Dead Nation. One on the PS3, one on the PS4. Not auto pops from what I can tell. PS4 version is 2.63%. And the, the PS3 had DLC I'm guessing the PS4 didn't. 1.22 on the PS3. Uh, for the DLC, nice. We then got Dead Space. Um, and I believe that's the original one as well, so very, very nice. We've then got Deadly Premonition and Deadly Premonition the Director's Cut. 3 out of 10 difficulty. Not, not the lowest of percentages, but you don't see it too often, so fair play. I remember getting this on, I think it was the PlayStation 2, if I remember right. And... I didn't understand what was going on on it, but then I was a dumb kid. I'm, I mean, I'm still dumb now, but I was even dumber back then. Uh, we then got Deep Rock Galactic, and I, I don't like. I, I've, I've got this game. I own this game. I played it for about half an hour. Wasn't my kind of thing, but 300 hours and eight out of ten difficulty, 0.62% on the platinum. And then the DLC, 0.42%. Mate, this, this is unreal. Unreal. We've then got Demon Souls uh, twice, uh, NA and EU. Uh, one 
is 10.09 percent eight out of ten difficulty uh, i'm not sure why this one's missing timestamps. I, I, I believe that that's because ps3 that that yeah i'm guessing it's because of the ps3 we then got deponia deponia doomsday uh detroit become human very nice oh my god diablo 2 resurrected 1.63 percent and 9 out of 10 and like 999 hours because it can't go any higher i, I know i know what this uh, platinum consists of the constant grinding for items and hardcore um hardcore max level just fair play fair effing play and then you've got reaper of souls twice once on the ps3 once on the ps4 and from the looks of it they are legitly done as well uh dreadnought two different regions Again, I think these are done legit. Um, 0.93%, 1.08%. That you got Drive Club, 4.23% on that. Drive Club Bikes, which is more, more, uh, less rare, should I say? But you still did it, fair play. And Drive Club VR, 2.10%. We then got Driver San Francisco, PS3, 2.73% on that 5 out of 10 difficulty. Dynasty Warriors, whoa, okay, there's a fair few of these. Dynasty Warriors 6, Empires, Dynasty Warriors 7, Dynasty Warriors 8, Dynasty Warriors 8, Empires, Dynasty Warriors 8, Extreme Legends, twice. Uh, that one looks like it might have been a bit of an auto-pop, but... Regardless, eight empires, one point five five percent. Eight Dynasty Warriors, eight for the PS3, two point six seven percent. Ooh, and Extreme Legends, two point four five percent. Fair f in play. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Earth Defense Force, two thousand and twenty five. The guide says four hundred hours. 0.67% on an 8 out of 10 difficulty. Mate. What the hell? And then we got Earth Deforce. Earth Deforce? Earth Defense Force 4.1. The Shadow of New Despair. 0.86% on that as well. My dude. Uh, we then got Elden Ring. You know, it's an impressive platinum. I don't like. It. Yes, it's thirty-three percent, but it's still impressive. Uh, everybody's gone to the rapture, which surprises me that it's so low, considering it's a relatively easy platinum. Um, Fallen Legion, Flames of Rebellion, probably the first list that I've seen this on. One point nine two percent. We then got Fallout Three, Fallout Four, Fallout Seventy Six, Fallout Shelter. And Fallout New Vegas. Very, very nice. Fallout 3 being 120 hours. So took some dedication. Fallout 76 as well being roughly 100 hours. 5.50% on that. New Vegas, quite surprisingly, 6.67%. But just, just got to say that the DLCs as well. Like this is just insane. We've then got Far Cry 2. I'm not going to lie, like I've played Far Cry 3 onwards. I've played every single one of them, except actually no, I haven't played Primal. Uh, Primal. I've never seen Far Cry 2. I have absolutely no idea what it looks like. Never seen it, but you've got the Platinum. 0.64% on it. 6 out of 10 difficulty, 120 hours. That is nuts. But you've then got Far Cry 3, Far Cry 4, Far Cry Classic. Is that like the, the OG? I've never seen this one either. Far Cry Primal as well. We've then got Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No. That's weird. Oh. Okay, now, then this is probably why some people don't want me to do it alphabetical. Far Cry 1. Far Cry. Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4. 9, 
five, six, seven, eight remake, seven remake, sorry, eight, 10, 10, two, 12, 13, 13, two. What, like, what? First off, okay, so. One to six, yeah, pixel remastered, fair enough. Uh, five, four, five, and six are, sorry, one, two, and three, dead easy. Four, five, six, you know, take a little bit more to, to get the platinum and like, you know, more thinking, more stuff to do. Seven, the only Final Fantasy platinum I have other than Fiatri of them, but I, I said that wrong, but forget that. But you've got eight as well, which obviously all the cards is what's put me off from that one. But you've got nine. You have Final Fantasy nine, Platinum. You have done the skip rope trophy. Now, you're going to have to let me know, was it legit? Or did you have to like plug it into your PC and get the script? So it makes it think you're doing the, the skipping rope. Because that trophy is... Ne Actually, what am I even... You've even, like, you've even got 10 with the... Is it 10 or 10 too with the fucking lightning strikes as well? These are nuts. But this is, this is sickening. This is absolutely sickening. Final Fantasy 9. 7.55% on it. What the hell? Remake. Yeah, fair enough. Like, you know, remakes are a fantastic game as well. But then, like, Final Fantasy 10 and 10.2. 8.69%, 6.6%. What the hell? Like, I love Final Fantasy, I really do, but I would never, ever consider going for the Platinums on 9, 10, and 10, 2. Uh, maybe the 1. Whichever one isn't the Lightning Strikes, but 9, nine especially, like, no way. No way. Uh, right, okay, moving on. So we've then got Friday the 13th, 0.69%. Uh, uh, guessing that's an auto pop, so I'll just uh, we'll just move along. Full throttle, uh, quite a high percentage on that. Game of Thrones, Telltale game, quite a high percentage as well. Uh, we've then got Gauntlet for the PS4, which is a 2.13%. If I remember right, this is the game where you can play as like um, a warrior. Uh, sorcerer archer and you just run around like dungeons and fight fight enemies if if it's the correct game um goat simulator next yep yeah, fair enough 1.82 percent on the dlc as well we've then got god of war one two three ascension chains of olympus and ghosts of sparda fair play fair play like this list, it's it's just just going from strength to strength to strength, and I've just seen some more that are coming up now, and I'm like I, I don't know I don't know how you do it. We then got Goodbye Depona, yeah, that's that's pretty high. Grand Kingdom, zero point nine two percent on that. Disgusting. We then got <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Three, four, five twice, and I think that's legit. San Andreas twice. Potentially not legit. And then Voice City. What the hell? I mean, I'm going to, like, let's just talk about four and five. Because we're talking 0.96%, 0.5% DLC. And then... Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3, 1.62%, 0.52% DLC. And then PS4, 2%, 0.22%. That is disgusting. We then got Gravity Rush 2, Gravity Rush Remastered. Not not low percentages, but fantastic games. Grim Fandang Tang. Put my teeth back in. Grim Fandango. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I actually own this game physically. And I said on a recent video, I'm probably never going to play it. Uh, and the 3.62% on the DL, uh, Platinum, sorry, is, uh, yeah, fair play. Heavy Rain, 9.09%. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, 
Nice. 41.11%. Dude! We've then got I Am Bread. 0.42%. Mate, like... And you did it in a day. Well, one day, three hours. Uh, we then got Oiko. 6%. I, I have no idea what that is. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, we've then got Infamous, Infamous 2, Infamous First Light, and Infamous Second Sun. Nice, 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 and nice. My. We then got Injustice 2. Injustice Gods Among Us. Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition twice. N A N E U. Um, I don't like. Yeah. Mind blown. Injustice Gods Among Us on the PS3, 0.27%. And then the Ultimate Edition on the PS4, 0.2%. My God. We then got Jazz Punk. Oh, I have no idea. Jump Force, which I'm actually very surprised is such a low percentage. We got 2.47% on that one. So fair play on that. We got Just Cause 2 and Just Cause 3. 2.98% on uh, number 3 and 1.01% DLC for that. Uh Kill Zone Shadowfall. I think this might have been my f like one of the first games I ever played on PS4 and I thought it was trash. But I could have been wrong. I could have just been trash myself. But 1.58% for the platinum on that with 0.32% on the DLC. We then got Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. Very nice. You don't see them every day. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur. Reckoning. Nice. That's on the PS3 as well. I didn't even know it was out on the PS3. I've got the PS4 version. Well, I uh, I couldn't get into it. But 6.77% on that. 1.64% on the DLC. I'm only on the Ks. What the hell? Uh, LA Noir. Very nice. Laser League. I... Seem to remember, I think this was the uh, PS Plus game at one point, if I remember right, but that's a 1.12%, so very nice. Uh, Late Shift, Le uh, Lego Sister, 2.11% on that. I actually don't know what this game is, but this is the second time I've seen it today, because I saw it on a, a blog post about like games that you, know, you should experience um, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, nice, nice. Mad Max, very nice, 5.93% on that. Mafia 2, Magicka 2, 1.34% on that, very nice. Uh, the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale game, nice. Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. I'm going to take a guess that, no, actually no, PS3. So this, this isn't the collection, these are legits as well. So very, very nice. Uh, Max Payne 3, Ooh, the original PS3 edition, 0.8% and 0.41% on the DLC. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year edition, very nice. Minecraft, all 127 trophies, fair F in play, 0.67% on the DLC for that. That is very nice. Uh, Mirror's Edge and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but... Going back to the OG, 2.74% on that, and the DLC of 0.67. Fair F in play. We then got Mortal Kombat. Um, I don't know what edition that is. It just says Mortal Kombat. It's on PS3, which is 0.52%. So, beautiful stuff. Uh, Murdered Soul Suspect, nice. Need for Speed, Shift 2 Unleashed. 1.06% and the DLC 0.56. We then got Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Nice Nia. 7.71% on that. That is a banger game. That is actually a banger game. Uh, we then got Akami HD. Nice on the road. Uh, no idea what that is, but you got 1.99% on that. Then got One Piece Pirate Warriors. I have never seen this. Never. 
I, I've platinumed Pirate Warriors 4 quite recently myself. I've seen three in the store. I've never seen one or two. Seeing this on the list for the first time, fair effing play. Another deep breath. Oxen free, nice. Payday 2, the Chrome Wave Edition, 1.5. What? First off, it's not 5. And second off, why did I say it's so weird? 1.43%, 0.32% on the DLC. And then Pixel Junk, Nom Nom Galaxy, 1.14% on that. You then got PlayStation VR Worlds as well, 0.6%. Nice. Project Cars, 1.65. PUBG Battlegrounds, 1.29%. Quantum Theory, 1.43%. Mate. This is insane. This, I'm putting it out there. This is this is definitely like the greatest list I've ever seen. Now, the only way that this could ever not be the greatest list I've ever seen is if somebody comes in and provides me evidence that it's all cheated. But from what I can tell, it's not. Yes, there's a few auto pops, but at this point in time, I'm pretty sure that almost everybody's got auto pops. Sometimes accidental, like me. Um, Red Dead Redemption, very nice. And Red Dead Redemption 2, 299, 2.54 at 5.7% on that one. Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered, 1.05% on that one. And then Red Faction Guerrilla on the PS3, 0.75%. Uh, Rigs Mechanized Combat League. 0.7% on that. Saints 4 re-elected. Saints Raw got... Saints Raw? Saints Row 4 re-elected. Saints Row got out of hell. Saints Row the 3rd. Very, very nice. Got, got out of hell being an 8.83%. Shadow, Shadow of the Colossus for the PS3. 2.54%. Considered a fantastic game. Um, Shenmue 1 and 2 I actually picked these both up recently I'm actually shocked that the, that the percentage on those is so high but fair play we then got Silent Hill 2 the original uh, from well no not the original but the HD collection 3.41% Safe Park Fractured Butthole Safe Park Stick of Truth very nice on both of those um, we then got Sports Champions and Sports Champions 2. No idea what they are. Both both of them on the PS3. The one is half of a percent for the Platinum. 0.5%. Disgusting. Uh, SSX, 2.27%. Star Ocean, the last international on the PS3, 0.87%. Mate... Uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed and The Force Unleashed 2, both under 7% and very nice. Stardew Valley, 3.24%. Steep, the uh, snowboarding game, 2.2% on that. I've just, I'm, actually, one second, I've just got to go back to Stardew Valley. You've done the DLC as well, 0.15%. Uh, Super Hot VR. 0.67%. Surgeon Super Surgeon Simulator 0.61%. We then got Tacoma quite high. Tales of the Borderlands quite high. Terraria 2.51% and the DLC 0.91%. Very nice. The Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Beautiful. The Bunker not not one I see too often. The Crew. 0.96%. Of course, that is uh, no longer obtainable. So fair play on getting that one before it went off. I mean, I say fair play on getting it. You got it back in 2009. It's not like you struggled to get it. Um, the Crew 2 as well. Elden, Elden, Elden. The Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim PS3 and PS4. Uh, PS4 was... was that, is that the VR version as well? So fair play, 1.59% on that, 0.8% DLC. The Evil Within, which obviously includes the Akuma mode, 
4.07%, 1.58% DLC. The Last Guardian, 3%. The Last of Us Remastered, 4.89%, and the DLC. Uh, the Long Reach, The Order 1886, The Suicide of Rachel Foster. The Town of Light, The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead A New Frontier, The Walking Dead Final Season, The Wolf Among Us. All very nice, very nice, very nice. We've then got The Thief, The Thief. Why did I say the? We've then got Thief. 3.02% on that PS3 version. I don't know why I pointed that out. I'm not sure if it's on PS4 as well, but just felt the need. Uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist, 5.44%. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition for the PS4, 5.63%. We then got two stacks of Trackmania for the PS4, 1.05%. Trackmania Turbo, 0.74%. Get out. Leave. Man. Like, because I've been struggling on this one, I know what this one is. Tricky Towers. I'm not recording it or nothing. Like, I'm literally just chipping away at it every so often. And I've got some of the difficult trophies, but you've actually platinumed it. 1.08%, 0.87% DLC as well. To be fair, the DLC isn't that difficult from what... Well, at least I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's just win a tournament, isn't it? But... Fair play, absolutely fair play. We then got True Truber Brook, never heard of that one. Uh, we got Drake's Fortune Remastered and Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, very nice, very nice. DLCs on both as well. Uh, Undertale, Until Dawn, Until Dawn Rush of Blood, I believe that. Is that the VR game? Well, that's a 1.43%. Uh, we got Vane, Vanquish, which is a 2.27%, and you did it on the D PS3 as well. Uh, I know that that's a very uh, difficult one, or at least there's one challenge that's very, very difficult. Uh, Virginia, Watch Dogs. Uh, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, so you have done the Moinleben trophy as well. 1.38%, 0.7% on the DLC. Fair effing play on those. The New Order and The Old Blood. Um, we've then got XCOM 2, Yakuza 0, and Zombie Tycoon 2. 0.88% uh, on XCOM 2, and the DLC 0.41%. Okay, like, mate, th this is just by far the best list. I don't... I don't if anybody thinks their list can beat this, then I am going to be very amazed if we ever get if I ever get to it. But let's go through the milestones as we always do. So first platinum was Fallout 3, because why not? Why not tackle a absolutely infamous uh long-winded platinum trophy as your first one? Tenth platinum was uh Kingdoms of Am Amalore Reckoning. Very nice. 20th Platinum was Borderlands, 30th Platinum was Grand Theft Auto 3, 40th was Final Fantasy 7, yes. Uh, 50th was Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age, 75th was Fallout 4, let's have a look, what's your, 100th was Final Fantasy 9, you know what, yeah, fair play. If, if I knew I was going to get that Platinum as uh, my 100th, 100th, why not? But hilariously, it was also your 5,000th trophy. That's awesome. Uh, 125th Platinum was Dark Souls 3. 150th Platinum was Final Fantasy 7. Uh, 8, sorry. 8. Roman numerals. Uh, 175 was Dark Souls Remastered. 200th was Elden Ring. 225th was Master of One at Final Fantasy 1. And 250th... Final Fantasy 6. So fair play. Like you, you've obviously smashed through some absolute banger games, some insane games, and you've even took the time to purposely get specific platinums on your milestones as well. 
Jusex, if I'm saying your name correctly. Like, I, I, I'll take a bow. You know, I'll, I'll tip the hat. I am not worthy. Greatest list I have ever seen. And, like, I'm going to be tempted to keep, keep an eye out. I really am. Like, keep seeing what you're doing. Because this is just insane. But, that's the end of the list. If you've made it this far, then thank you very much for watching. Um... Thank you to the Bomb Squad members who will be appearing on screen uh, around about now. And yeah, if you want your list to be uh, reviewed in the future, and it will be very much in the future because the list is humongous at this point, but just leave your uh, trophy list name, account name, down below, and I'll add you to the list. And I'll get to you when, when I do. And my throat feels fine. There were a couple of moments where it was a little bit iffy, but... All in all, it's fine, so peace.